today we're taking a look at the new L59 minigun and comparing it to its counterpart, the L56A3 smart gun. Going to be going over pros and cons of each one, ultimately weighing in on which one I feel is currently best to be using with the demolisher since it's the only class currently that can use a heavy weapon and going over potential builds for them as well as far as the mods you should be using. So, got a couple of facts for you uh, just to start this off. And that's the smart gun fires a hundred rounds in five seconds. The minigun will fire 100 rounds in 7.75 seconds. That includes the charge time, assuming the gun is already at max rank. So the smart gun will fire 33% faster. Just a little note to keep in mind. It also does have a 200 round mag. So it can actually fire 200 rounds in 10 seconds. So just keep that in mind. Now I did some base damage off a of runner. So on the runners you will do 119 damage non-weak spot damage with the smart gun. You will do 144 damage on the weak spot with the weak spot build for the smart gun which I'll show you. The minigun on the other hand will do 199 base damage 299 weak spot damage and 339 if you have the weak spot build which I'll show you. So what does that mean? That means the minigun does 1.8 non weak point damage over the smart gun, 2.1 times the damage on weak spot shots, 2.3 times the damage on weak spot shots if it has the weak spot shot build. As far as reloading goes, both guns will be able to fire roughly 3 seconds after initiating a reload. This does include the charge time for the minigun, assuming it's at max rank. So that is from reload time, the time you initiate the reload, to the time that both guns are able to fire a shot. Both guns are able to fire a shot just over 3 seconds after initiating a reload. As far as max ammo is concerned, the smart gun does get 21.5% more ammo uh, on time to kill for elites. Assuming the elite can die within 100 bullets, the minigun most definitely can take it out faster, assuming you can land those weak spot shots. There is a catch-22 with this. The smart gun does come with 200 uh, rounds, so if you have to kill multiple elites, and the minigun has to reload. You're going to have to be very quick with the minigun. Landing up those weak spot shots. In order to kill faster than the smart gun. And on the drones when you're burning a couple hundred shots. Sometimes on higher difficulties. Then the benefit of the minigun kind of gets lowered a little bit over the smart gun. But it can do a lot more damage per shot which is nice on the elites it definitely gets that uh, out of a hundred bullets you'll do a lot more damage with those hundred bullets than you did on the hundred bullets with the smart gun so which one is the best we got one more deciding factor and this deciding factor kind of really tips the favor for one of these guns and that is when you're doing holdout battles there is a very common practice with the demolisher where you'll fire and you'll reload and then you'll reload out the ammo box. So you're basically cornering an ammo box in a lot of battles or you'll play very close to the ammo box and when you're firing that last clip and you need to reload, you'll reload and you'll reload from the ammo box and you're basically just unloading clips. So with this strategy, I've tried this strategy several times and not once could I beat a holdout battle faster using the minigun than using the smart gun. I was always able to keep them off me with the smart gun and the minigun, they're always coming in. Like it's just impossible, um, maybe if you got an auto aim bot or something, maybe you could do it with the minigun and then it would definitely be faster. but. The smart gun just takes out groups faster. The minigun you have to go from target to target and the smart gun just seems to, when they're all grouped up, to auto target the groups. So as it's jumping from one to another, the other one gets in the way, it's shooting that one. You're not primarily trying to take out one target, get the weak point shots. You're just like moving it over the groups and on the larger dudes, 
Uh, they take multiple shots for a couple of seconds to kill. Then you're going for the weak point shots. So in those holdout battles, the where ammo just doesn't matter, the smart gun just wins every time. And that is what is going to be my deciding factor for which gun is the best gun currently for the, Dem the Demolisher. Uh, and I have to go with the smart gun. I still say the smart gun is the best gun for the heavy category. I really do like the minigun. And I think for anybody not wanting to use the smart gun and have the smart aim assist and want a little bit more skill to the weapon, the minigun is good. Um, overall, I just don't think it's going to kill as fast in most scenarios. It can do a lot of damage. It can take out those elites faster. Definitely on lower end difficulties. But overall, throughout the mission, I still like the smart gun better. And going into uh, the builds now, this is one of the downsides too, is with adding this extra weak point damage, you sacrifice not putting on this mod. And this mod is really good to not waste bullets and land more weak point shots. Yes, you can very easily do it with this as well. And I say that um, from somebody who can just consistently hold headshots and weak point shots. So it might not be as easy for some. But um, this accuracy on hit makes this a lot easier to control. I really do like uh, this mod right here to not waste bullets and uh, to keep my accuracy because it keeps it for five seconds too so as I'm shooting one target I got 25% accuracy to move on to the next target and start shooting and if I start shooting I hit that target then it just keeps stacking so basically when I'm fighting multiple enemies I can pretty much hold 20 to 25 percent bonus accuracy for the entire battle so besides reloading so I really do like this mod this will allow you to do a little bit more damage. The stability I don't find bad. I find it manageable. So I don't really care about the stability. But it does jump slightly. So this might help you a little bit too. I would say try both of them out if you're going to use the minigun. And decide which one you like better. Now for the barrel it's a little bit less um, fire rate and stability. If you're going to use the minigun you might as well be trying to kill fast with it. So I really recommend the hybrid rifle. That's my pick. And like all these guns, definitely the max ammo. I'm really a big fan on the heavy weapons with the max ammo because you can burn through this ammo so quick. And when you do need to swap weapons, I feel the handling is a big plus. So I definitely go for that on it. And the smart gun is actually less of a decision. I feel like this should be the three that you run. I feel like you should definitely be running the weak point damage, stumble chance, and effective range. Now this is a lot less for the 33% chance to briefly stun enemies on hit. It only can occur once every 15 seconds. It's nice when you're fighting a drone or a big dude for like 20 seconds because then you're guaranteed basically to get that stun. But it's more for the weak point damage. It gives you a little bit of stumble chance at its high rate of fire. It does stumble. It gives a little bit to the effective range which is nice. Uh, Definitely going for the fire rate and stability, so while it's jumping around in groups, it's a little bit more stable, and it fires faster, and it takes the bigger dudes out when you hold it on their heads, because now we have the weak point damage as well. And definitely going for that max ammo and the handling, so once again, we can swap weapons as needed, and we get a larger ammo pool, which is really needed with these smart guns, unless you're only switching to them to kill elites. And that is my pros and cons of the, uh, forget the name of the new one, the L56A3 smart gun and the L59 minigun. Ultimately, once again, I do feel the smart gun is the better overall gun, but the L59 minigun was a really fun to play with, I will give it that. I did like actually having to use the skill, using skill to use the minigun. It was a very nice change over the smart gun. Just for winning campaign battles, uh, overall effectiveness, um, I found the smart gun was better because it would clear out the mobs when there's just like 20 enemies and you need to target them really quickly or get 10 enemies off the rafters real quick. The smart gun could do it. The minigun could do it too, but I mean, it couldn't do it as fast. And then the smart gun can move on to the next mob faster, so... 
especially for those holdout battles, the smart gun won every time. And just overall in the general mid-level battles, I mean, they kind of perform the same. It's just the minigun I was able to take out the, the elite, especially like the prowlers and the bursters a little bit faster. Other than that, I mean, smart gun was just as good as, or better. So I have to give it to the smart gun. I hope that helps.